Alright guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of the Wild Man's Wild Friends. Try to see if this guy will chill out. Now, I showed you the Mediterranean house gecko just a couple days ago. This one, I believe, is the common house gecko though. Now the Mediterranean house gecko uh, originates in the Mediterranean, where the common house gecko is actually from Asia originally. But it now also has a worldwide uh, kind of habitation as it's been naturalized across the, uh, the tropical and subtropical regions around the world. This guy, uh, these guys can live for about five years and get up to about six inches. You can see this one already lost his tail and it's regrowing it there where it's clear is, is the new growth of the tail and kind of this part with the spots in the pattern. That's still some of its uh, it's old tail where it broke off right there. Um, so they're similar to the Mediterranean house gecko and they share uh, kind of a worldwide habitat now as well as, uh, as they've been transported around the world. I actually uh, used to have a leopard gecko that was almost the same color, kind of pink with the yellow. So now these guys are where? Africa, Australia, South America, Central America, the Southern United States, the Middle East. Um, they've kind of spread across that whole whole region. Uh, let's see if I can get a better shot. Yeah, there we go. So, also like the Mediterranean house gecko, the common house gecko here, they're going to be nocturnal. And uh, they're just going to eat a lot of insects. They're mostly harmless. And uh, I guess, you know, they don't really share. There's not a lot of uh, nocturnal lizards eating the insects around the world. So although they kind of have been uh, moved around the world, they don't really box out too many of the natural species, although some would probably consider them to be invasive. Um, I think they look like little pink crocodiles almost. And like I said, the uh, the home range is going to overlap pretty well with the other guys. So you can often find them in similar places, overlapping places. This one's at a different location than the uh, first ones we were catching. But still just a beautiful lizard and they are super quick. I'm going to try to get a couple good, uh, good photos for you guys of this guy. And uh, I'll be letting them go. So, all right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.